So there is a dark side to, uh, for some pet owners this morning as veterinarians are seeing a spike in cannabis poisonings. Joining us with tips for keeping your furry family members safe uh, and healthy is veteran Jeff Werber. Hello there. How are you? Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Good. It's good to see you. Uh, so you and I talked about this actually the last time I had Mia. And, uh, Mia. Oh, I would have thought of me. that was my first pet. <laughs> the last time I had Lulu and Benny over there to see you, uh, you were telling me that this is a serious issue where pets are being poisoned with all these products because they're gummies and they're you know candy bars and all kinds of things that pets can get into. How much is this you know, happening? When you think about yeah, there has been such a huge, since in 2016, just in California alone, um, there has been a jump, um, about 276% of more cases ending up in emergencies because of animals getting a hold of cannabis products. And in, in Colorado, uh, since 2012, when it was legalized, it's an 11-fold increase. Wow. So it's, it's irresponsible owners. Um, hopefully, it's more accidental than, than purposely done. But animals are getting a hold of these things, like you said, the gummies, the brownies, the cookies, and they're getting basically toxicity levels of the THC, the pot. Hmm. So, I mean, I mean, we, we've heard this on the street. It's, it's really difficult for a human to overdose on, on marijuana. If you smoke it, if you take those edibles, it, can a pet actually overdose to the point where they, they pass away if they have too much? You know, it's, first of all, one thing you have to remember, you know, let's say you got, you're, you're doing the, the pot brownies, okay? And it's, you're being passed around, and you're going to take, what, a half a brownie, a half an edible, whatever it may be, right? They're, look at that. Well, if a dog sees these, they're not stopping at a half right. or one. They're, they're gobbling the whole thing up. So they, to them, it's like, oh, my God, I like strawberries. I like chocolate. I'm going to just go for it. So they, they don't realize that they're getting that much you know, poison, that much THC. The problem is it is... It is uh, very toxic. However, they would have to eat a ton of it for to actually be killed. You know, a lethal dose we call it. Um, most of the times, these dogs will get very sick. I would say the vast majority that have passed away were because of something called pot butter, which is extremely concentrated THC. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just getting all the, the the reactions. It's like you know, you'll see dilated eyes. You'll see increased sensitivity to touch. Um, the, uh, a heart rate can either go up or down depending on the dog. Um, uh, they can also they will get weak and wobbly. Their temperature can go down. So these are symptoms that there may be something going on, and you need to get your, your pet in. Now, interestingly, some of the people have no idea that it happened. So they bring their dogs in because of a problem, and then we look at the dog and say, we didn't have any access to pot. <laughs> Because this is exactly what it looks like. And then you, you, then you get the truth. Oh, right. yeah. It was, I, I had some. I dropped one on the floor and I couldn't find it. Right. So that's how it happens. So let me ask you this, though. A lot of people will treat their pets with CBD, um, and there's, there are pet products for that. Are there people who are giving their pets human cannabis products and shouldn't be? Well, here's the thing. If it's pure CBD, in fact, here in California, finally, finally, CBD from industrialized hemp has been legal for us to actually provide and recommend for our pets. And you know, the, the list goes on. There's so many, many things that, that are safe and, and good reasons I, from, from anti-inflammatory properties to anti-seizure properties to anti-cancer properties, um, pain relief, um, antidepressant. There are a lot of really good uses for CBD. And, um, but this, this is CBD without the THC. Mm -hmm. Now, THC has benefits as well, but there needs to be more standardization, more regulation, more education, and more control in the industry to, for us as veterinarians to start really recommending um, the cannabis products to our pets. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as CBD, pure CBD is concerned, um, we, I, I recommend it. I think it, it has a lot of positive benefits. But again, something you want to discuss with your veterinarian. But until we know more about the the toxic levels, forget the lethal levels, just even toxic levels of CBD, I'd recommend staying away and working very closely with your veterinarian. So help us out. Let's say someone's watching. They're in a situation where, unfortunately, their pet gets into a, a bag of edibles that you mentioned, and you see them acting strangely. What should you do? Should you call the vet first? Should you immediately take them to urgent care? What's, what's the proper yes, procedure? Yes, I think if, if, if it's within, if you see it happen, it's within an hour of ingestion, um, I would definitely uh, want to see vomiting-induced. I would want to, that's cute, I would want to uh, 
uh, you know, take your pet to an emergency to induce vomiting. Uh, there are some ways to do it at home. Uh, uh, certainly, you know, call your veterinarian, call a, a telemedicine platform. Uh, you can get some help from a veterinarian to, to help along. Uh, cats are tough because cat, I don't think cats would eat it as much, but they may. But uh, you can't, uh, you can't, there's nothing at home, no home remedy for inducing vomiting in a cat. So, but for dogs, it can be done. And if you can get them to vomit up what they just ate, then you're probably okay. And sometimes you, you don't see the effects for anywhere from 12 to you know right. 20 hours later. Right. So you just have to know if there's even a potential risk, I would be a, a little bit more aggressive about it and uh, take your pet into a vet or talk to a veterinarian right. about how you can induce vomiting at home. Really good information. Yeah. Also, I mean, if your pet does have a situation like that, the, the earful you're going to get from Casey Montoya is, <laughs> is a punishment in itself. So be warned from that as, as well. As well as it should be, because <laughs> if you are going to have these products around the house, it is so critical yeah. to be very, yeah. very careful. And again, as with many problems that we deal with in the veterinary world and in human world, prevention is the key. Absolutely. Dr. Werber, we're so glad to talk to you. Thank you so much uh, for all of your advice and input. You can follow him on social media or you can visit drjeff.com. He does great lives. He does your dog, right? Yeah. And Casey's dog. Yeah. 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 Um, He's been, yes. So here's the, what's so great about him is he will do all these Instagram lives and you know Q and A's, and mm -hmm. so he's a wealth of information. So follow him and check him out. He's got a cute dog too. We're and gonna be, take a quick break. Okay. <laughs> we'll yeah. be right back.